Signal received. Transmission secure. All right, Cypher. Looks like this is the real thing. Ready to invade the Eagle's Nest? Right now, I'm going in blind. You tell me. Given Pygon probability calculus suggests 86% odds. I ran the numbers myself. The Eagle and his men are holed up in an old refinery beneath the river. Sending coordinates now. You'll lead the forward assault, but military reinforcements will surround the base and follow you in. Primary objective is to capture or eliminate the Eagle himself. I don't need soldiers slowing me down. Agreed. They'll wait on your insertion before proceeding. Your secondary objective is the Eradicators. The terrorists have begun launching their biomechanical weapons over Imperial Worlds. Once the devices are ready, the terrorists can fire on cities and military bases from orbit. We'll find a way to stop them. I hope so. After the Dominator, everyone who died along with Darth Jadis, I don't want to go through that again. When you're in that base, don't let anyone escape. Don't let the Eagle murder again. Watch it two out. Sir, we're cut off. Thurston and Gerald tried to get out, but the Imperials are all over the swamps. They would be. Damnation. I promised Gerald she'd die with the detonator in one hand and a glass of brandy in the other. Seems she's made a liar of me. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. You were everything I could have hoped for. Now carve us a path out. I'll follow soon. All right, I see you. The least I could do was send the boy off with hope. But have you seen the strength of the revolution? Cells on Narshadar, Tholet and Molivar, Alderaan, Balmora. It's an inspiration, no matter how it ends. Are you the eagle? The eagle is a symbol. I'm just a man. Tell me something. How much of my story has the Empire uncovered? What have your methods found? Why do you ask? Because if you're going to fight me, you should know what you're facing. I was a starfighter pilot. I flew in the battles of Coruscant and Druckenwell. Those were romantic days. Then, I began to lose squad mates. Some fell to Republic troopers. Imperial intelligence erased others. I wondered, was my empire worth it? What answer did you come to? I realized that the Empire destroys people. Our once great society runs on human fuel and serves no purpose beyond ego. I decided to fight for a return to the old Empire. The Empire isolated on Drummond Cass for a thousand years. I thought I could succeed. You say thought? Past tense. I recruited allies who felt as I did, but we were so few. There. I was approached by a patron, someone who gave me a list of other revolutionaries, other revolutions across the galaxy. This grand terror network, it wasn't your idea. My patron was the spark. I am the flame. I sought my counterparts on many planets. They hated for different reasons, but we all shared a vision of the Empire's defeat. I gave up my name to lead them. I was no longer an ex-Starfighter pilot. I was the Eagle. I was what the Revolution needed. I'm Cypher 9. I'm the Empire's way of stopping you. Killing me changes nothing. The Revolution lives on. Another Eagle will rise. Even in death, I'll have my victory. Six dozen eradicator devices are already in place. They'll wait to receive orders, at first. But eventually, without commands, they'll run rampant. Fire blindly at cities from orbit. Surrender, and we can work out a deal. Stop this attack. There will be no deals. Uncontrolled, the Eradicators won't hit our targets, but chaos and death still send a message. Now, I believe my forces have had time to regroup. May whoever survives see a glorious future for the Empire. Damnation. Even surrounded, even seeing you, I didn't think it would happen like this. But as I said, it, it makes no difference. The Eradicators will run rampant, the Empire will burn, and you have been betrayed. Hold still. You need medical attention. My patron, the one who showed me how to unite the cells, proposed the Eradicators, is one of your own people. A traitor in your Empire has been helping us all along. 
Your civilization is so corrupt that it's destroying itself. Give me a name. If I had one, I might. But I never learned the truth. Goodbye now. Watch me burn. Detonator, get back! Area is clear. Sir, are you all right? Cypher 9, it's Watcher 3. Are you hurt? That was a nasty explosion. A little singed, but better than the eagle. That really was him? Fantastic! Keeper sent me to assist with information retrieval, slicing the eagle's computers. I'll also check out that device there. I think it's an eradicator. You do that. I need clean terrace bits off me. Ah, right. Of course. Cypher, I've got some preliminary findings. It's not good news. I overheard what the Eagle said. Looks like he was telling the truth. If no one gives the Eradicators new orders, they'll go mad. Fire randomly. Any idea how to disable them? Here's the good part. I figured out their control mechanism. Transmit the proper codes, and you can set the device's targets, disable them, anything. The Eagle stored half the control codes on his computers. Someone else must have the second half. The Eagle mentioned a patron. Yes, sir. The one inside the Empire. I'm not sure what that means. You should head to Drum and Kars. I don't think there's anything more you can do here, and Keeper wants you back at headquarters. Cypher 9, come inside. This should be a triumphant moment. It's a tremendous achievement bringing down the Eagle. But the crisis has only escalated. The Eradicators could begin firing at any moment. What's our current status? Watcher 2, your report. The Moths have placed local forces on alert, and a search for the Eradicators is underway. Unfortunately, trends suggest we can only find one device every five hours. It'll be weeks before we destroy them all. Disappointing, but not a surprise. Damage projections? Estimates are 10 to 50 million deaths on each planet targeted. 40% military, 60% civilian. Even at the low end, that's unacceptable. Agreed. It sends the message that the Empire is vulnerable. In order to deactivate the Eradicators en masse, we need the control codes. Half the codes won the Eagle's computers. We can only surmise that the other half are with the Eagle's patron. Yes, the patron. A man whom the Eagle claims is inside the Empire. You sound skeptical. I have my doubt that this patron is really a highly placed Imperial. It seems unlikely such a person could escape our scrutiny. Nonetheless, we can't ignore the possibility of a traitor. That's why we're meeting privately. Only the people in this room know the full situation. Caution would seem prudent. Indeed. Watcher 2? The Eagle had been sending periodic transmissions to someone in the Artis system. Artus is uninhabited, devoid of resources, and off the major hyperlanes. Our patron could certainly hide there. I want you to lead a mission to Artus. You're to find the Eagle's patron and obtain his half of the control codes. Watcher 2 will rendezvous with you there. She knows more about the Eradicators than anyone. Are you all right with this? I'll do what's necessary. Your ships will be outfitted with cloaking devices. They'll only last one jump, but they'll get you into Artus unnoticed. After that, infiltrate whatever base the Patron is using. Recover the Eradicator control codes and stop the threat. Watcher 2, you're dismissed. If you want to talk before the mission, I'll be at my station. There is one more thing. Darth Sorid heard you were returning to Drummond Kass. She wants to speak to you. I'm sorry about before, when she tortured you. You aren't to blame. Zorid is... unpredictable. I've done my best to shield intelligence from our new lord. You've been the unfortunate exception. Do what it takes to survive Zorid's attentions a little longer. Beyond that, the Dark Council won't let this continue forever. I believe I understand. When you're through, head to the artist system. This is our only chance, Cypher. Fail, and we all pay a grievous cost. Cypher, I'm glad you stopped by. I've been going over the mission parameters. 
Studying the eradicator control code scans of the Arta system. We're facing a mystery, and I hate mysteries. You should get some rest before we leave. I don't remember how. Times like this, I wonder if it took much more to push Watcher X over the edge. What about you? What's been going through your head since this countdown to Eradication Day started? All I can think is that someone's betraying us. Don't. Keeper knows the players involved, and Lodenth and I can run the psychological profiles. If someone's disloyal, we'll find out. You sound awfully sure of that. I am. And I don't want to discuss the matter further. In any case, you should get ready. The Eradicators won't wait for either of us. Let's get this done. We don't have much of a choice, do we? Once you take off for the Arta system, I'll be on your tail. We'll meet out there. Physical trauma includes electrical burns, lacerations, and retinal damage. Transfer to a cultural tank for long-term recovery is strongly recommended. You suggest a Dark Council member hide in a vat? For healing? I am programmed to dispense medical advice based on all relevant factors. Get out! Have yourself disassembled, made into a probe, and sent to the most desolate place in the Empire! Look, Agent. They hurt me, and then they laughed. How could they? Who did, my lord? After Viorian all broke, I called the Council to assembly. I demanded the Lords give me the respect I was due. Some were angry. Mocked me. They... Tormented me and warned me not to overstep my bounds again. That sounds terrible, my lord. Oh, Age. You don't understand. It's all Jadis's fault. He was my master, but he never taught me what I needed to know. Now he's dead and I'm not ready for his council seat. You're his daughter. He must have taught you something. Do you know what kind of creature Darth Jadis was? When I was young, he taught me how to sing. He said song was a blade to cut emotion from others. He had musicians tutor me for a year. My lord, this is none of my business. When I was ready, my father arranged a performance for me in Cars City. I sang for hours. I made the audience weep. I sang until my throat was raw and damaged. I sang until I could never sing again. Thus purged of the capacity for song, I saw my father smile. That's how he began my apprenticeship. I don't know what to say. It taught me a great deal. And it taught me to hate Darth Jadis. I know what's happening in Imperial Intelligence. I know you're going on a mission and that the Eagle wasn't the man you thought. Swear that you'll find whoever really killed my father. Swear that the man responsible will pay for forcing me into this wretched life. Jadis' killers never hurt you. If Darth Jadis hadn't been murdered, I would never have taken this place on the Council. I would never have been humiliated. His killers are to blame. Swear you'll make them hurt. All right. I swear. Yes. You will exact my revenge. And the world will be made right. I have gifts for you, Agent. Take them with my blessing and leave me to salt my wounds. And to gain strength from my hatred. Nice place. The Eagle's partner travels in style. Cypher, there's no one to welcome us. Seems our cloaking device has worked. Where are we, anyway? In orbit around Artus V. It's a gas giant, no life forms. This starship is a modified Imperial Dreadnought, maximum crew complement of 5,000. It's also jamming long-range communications, so I can't check its registration or call for reinforcements. Can we neutralize the jamming field? Maybe. I'll see if I can locate the signal generator.
Nonetheless, top priority is finding the eradicated command codes before the weapons initiate a random firing pattern. This data spike contains our half of the codes. Once you obtain the other half, you should be able to control the eradicators from any computer. Any idea where the codes might be stored? If we're lucky, they'll be on the bridge computers, and you can deactivate the eradicators from there. If they're not, I don't know. I do have one other thing for you. A comlink implant. So long as you're wearing it, I can monitor your situation and speak to you privately. Is this one-way communication, or can I reply? Subvocally. Whisper to me, and no one else will hear. While you search the interior, I'll try to slice the security systems. We're counting on you. Put an end to this. It's a grand social experiment. There's probably a hundred of us from across the Empire. All saved from the fire. Who knows how or why. For the most part, we're left to ourselves. Squabbling and fighting. Left to fear our own shadows. But we know the Master's out there. And I'm convinced there's a plan at work. Somebody wants to change us. Someone wants to control us. It's been... I don't know how long it's been. I lose count of the days during the blackout. The ones furthest along. They say our terror transforms us into the Master's image. Well, I'll tell the Master what's really happening. We're learning to fight back. Do you hear me, Master? We'll kill you for this. We'll kill you. I was so happy when I got the invitation. Everything was going to change for me. Leave home for a year? Why has the Master picked me to survive when hundreds died? And now the rest of us, one by one. My mother was a slave, but I wasn't, because my father was an officer. I don't want to end up like her. Oh, please. Please, someone rescue us. So... You've arrived at last. Cypher, I know that voice. I expected too little of you. You served me well on Hutter and on Drome and Kars. I should have known you would serve me again. Are you responsible for this? Everything that has transpired has been at my command. My will is the destiny of lesser men. Once before, you were inoculated by the dark side. I will speak now as I spoke then. Accept the gift of your life, Agent, and we will discuss terror, the Empire, and the Sith. You talk. I'll listen. Be careful, Cypher. Please be careful. I'm trying to analyze the situation, but it'll take time, and if he has the command codes... It was my desire that the Eagle unite the terror cells. It was my desire that my flagship be destroyed. I required a weapon that the Dark Council would overlook. The terrorists became my unknowing servants, and carried out my plan. Are you getting all this? I can hear everything. I'm so sorry we weren't prepared. With my false death, I escaped the eyes of the Dark Council and of Imperial Intelligence. After the Dominator, I came here, bringing with me those passengers worthy of elevation. I maneuvered my pieces into place. What's the point of it all? Keep him talking. Damn it. We can't fight him on our own. His power is second to the Emperor's. I accomplished two things during my absence. First was the diminution of the Dark Council. Upon my death, my former enemies began warring amongst themselves, vying to claim my resources. Darth Jorid's arrival escalated the chaos. My daughter is doomed, but she is an adequate distraction. I can't call for reinforcement so long as that jamming field is active. But he'll annihilate anything less than an army. It doesn't matter who he is. He's not going to win this. Right. Running analysis. Throwing the Sith into disorder was only the start. The rest of the Empire had to be prepared as well. That was the Eagle's purpose. To sow fright and hatred. All this while, my eradicators were growing. Now they are ready. And my victory is close at hand. What victory? What are you talking about? The Eradicators will destroy the strongholds and apprentices of my enemies on the Council. So too will the Eradicators terrorize the Empire. Then I will return to the Council and lead the Empire into a new age. An epoch of terror. The Emperor won't let you get that far. The Emperor is... distracted. 
I could re-sculpt the dark temple into a monument to my glory, and he would fail to object. Perhaps I shall do exactly that. I see where this is going. He needs the Eradicators to make this work, but you have half the command codes. Under my rule, all people will revel in fear and anger and degradation. These prizes will no longer be hoarded by Sith. But without both halves of the Eradicator codes, my weapons cannot be targeted. They will merely cause chaos. Mere chaos isn't enough for you, is it? No. The Eagle's death, your acquisition of his codes, has forced me to adapt. Without orders, the Eradicators will fire blindly. This serves neither of us. Enter your codes into the ship so the Eradicators can target my enemies. You will be rewarded. You will be my herald. You expect me to betray the Empire for you? Soon I shall be the Empire. If you refuse, you will die at my hand. The Eradicators will still reap untold destruction. Your sacrifice would mean nothing. I can be merciful. Take the time to consider your choice. Then we can begin the true work. You haven't thought this through. Kill me and I take the codes with me. A bold sentiment, but not a wise one. With your death, neither of us achieves our desire, and only I will be in a position to form a new plan. You're wrong, Jadis. You won't be in a position to do anything. Cypher, what are you doing? Tell me, Agent, what possible advantage could you have over me? You are in my sanctuary, and my power is infinite. This conversation is being recorded. Even if I'm dead, other people will know your plan. Your friends at the ship. They're incapable of defeating me. Their lives are forfeit. You can't kill all of them. Someone will escape. And they'll tell everyone your plot. And then what? Let them tell the world that I live, and I will still prevail. Are you ready to face the Sith? The Jedi? Your own terror network? I am prepared for any eventuality. You think my foes are capable of doing me harm? That I am so vulnerable? You already admitted it. You destroyed the Dominator so you could go into hiding. Arrogant creature. Suppose your allies scatter across the galaxy, spreading word of my existence. Suppose they rally an army. I am still capable of destroying you. You cannot withstand me. Cypher, enough. He's going to kill you. Are you so willing to die before you give up the codes? So confident of victory and death? Shall we test it? Go ahead and kill me. You've already lost. Yes, perhaps I have. It seems I should have been more cautious, taken steps to stop you before you found the Eagle. But I acknowledge my error, and I am willing to bargain. You may have this ship. You may have the Eradicator Codes. I will leave. I'm not letting you free. You need to make a better offer. It is the only concession I am prepared to make. You win, Agent. I shall withdraw from this battle before it becomes a war. Did he really just... Pursue no vendettas, and I shall pursue none. But I will rebuild, and years from now, I will return to the Dark Council. I can't make any promises. I expect none. Farewell. Know that few creatures survive earning my hatred and my respect. The Master... He's gone. Is he? We're free? I've got confirmation. Jadis's shuttle is jumping out of the system. You just talked down a Lord of the Dark Council's cipher. I didn't think that was possible. I'd rather not do that ever again. Hopefully, there won't be other rogue Dark Council members. Entering command codes to deactivate the Eradicators. The threat has been neutralized. We were a diplomat for many years. But that was impressive. You're too kind, Vector. The feeling's genuine. If that's how you handle a Dark Lord, imagine handling a Republic Senator. Jamming field is down. I'm broadcasting an all-clear signal to the Imperial Governors. I believed in the Master's vision. He showed us his new world. Transformed us. Jadis' experiments. We'll debrief them before we send them home. The Master uplifted us. Saved us from the fire. 
taught us everything. Come on. We'll make sure the medical droids fix you. He showed us our strength. Some of us will still die for him. Watch out! Forgive us, Master. We failed your vision. Jadis would have made everyone into slaves like them. It's a nightmarish thought. Some may reintegrate into society given the chance. Others... I want them taken care of. No experiments. No indefinite confinement. Of course. I'll make sure your request is heard. Still, we should be celebrating. It's a good day. Going down the list. The Empire saved, Darth Jadis on the run, an Imperial Dreadnought recovered, and the survivors rescued. I'd call this mission a success. He's still out there, you know. He's lost his followers, his resources, and his base of operations. He won't return for a while. The bridge is yours, Cypher. What do you say we set calls for home? Back to Drummond Kaas, then. This is Watcher 2 to keep her. Jumping to light speed now. Prepare for our arrival. <laughs> 